been scouring the scene in search of any remnants of an explosive device. Former FBI agent Manny Gomez is here to talk about explosives. Manny, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Let me ask you off the bat. The mayor said last night there is no evidence at this point of a terror connection. What is law enforcement looking at to make that determination? They're looking at intent. Uh, they want to find out exactly, A, number one, who did this so that they could stop him. And B, why did they do it? Uh, if it was uh, terrorism, as the classic term that we call now, was it inspired by ISIS? Was it something having to do with some sort of uh, Islamic militant group, something of that nature? Was it domestic violence? What is, uh, was it a potential hate crime? We don't know, and that's why uh, the investigation is still ongoing to determine the intent and the motive of the person who uh, did this attack, and first and foremost, to get that person off the street. Now, something unnerving just four blocks down, um, four blocks up actually, they, they find another device. You've seen the picture, the pressure cooker in the plastic bag. What goes through your mind when you see that? It reminds me of the Boston bombing. Mm. Uh, similar thing happened. Uh, it definitely seems like some sort of improvised device. It seems like the device that uh, ISIS is putting out in their websites on how to make, uh, you know, uh, make a bomb in your kitchen type of a situation made by simple devices. Uh, a pro pressure cooker, a cell phone, some wires, uh, put nails in it, screws in it, some sort of fertil uh, fertilizer, gasoline, and you have a bomb. So they took it now to Rodman's neck. Take us through the testing. Can they get DNA off of this device? They perhaps? certainly can. Uh, the NYPD, along with the FBI, Joint Terrorist Task Force, has come along a long way since 9-11 in being able to test explosive devices before they're detonated to make everyone safe uh, and try to ascertain where the device came from. Is there any forensics, fingerprints, uh, hair samples, anything like that? And also where the actual materials that the bomb is made of uh, came from. And that leads them to that uh, investigation and to find out exactly if it's a pressure cooker, where did it come from? Did yeah. it come from the whole depot on 23rd Street, right up the block from uh, the attack, so on and so forth. So every piece of information, both forensic and, and, and the obvious, can help uh, expedite uh, the pursuit and the apprehension of this person. You know, Manny, we heard from the mayor and the police commissioner, and always stressing if you see something, say something, and we just saw a perfect example. Absolutely. Uh, just yesterday, before this attack, we had uh, another attack in Queens. Uh, the uh, event was going to go off the marathon, or rather the race. In New Jersey. In New mean. Jersey. I'm yes. sorry. In New no, Jersey. Okay. And uh, somebody saw a uh, abandoned backpack, and they stopped the race from starting to go inspect the backpack, and uh, the uh, pipe bombs went off. Uh, Obviously, in another, they, in another location where the race was already supposed to take mm -hmm. off and numerous people would have gotten hurt. And they said that there was no specific connection between both Correct. events, but they're Correct. still investigating. They're definitely still investigating. It seems very interesting that this happened simu almost simultaneously mm. on the same day. Former FBI agent, former NYPD Manny Gomez, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. We do invite you all to stick with CBS2 all morning long for continuing coverage. You can also log on to our website at CBSNewYork.com. Time now is